All right, yeah, uh, Brandon Jeffries. All right, I'm digging him. I'm digging him. Brandon Jeffries in the house. Hey, hey. hey. Brandon, what's up, buddy? How are you? Doing good, man. Thanks for having me on the show, Tim. You are welcome. You got to be kind of like right here with the mic. Gotcha. Okay? Unless you're singing, then you want to put the mic between you and the guitar and use your concert oh, yeah. voice. It's going to get loud, believe me. Ooh, I do love it loud. I'm from New Jersey. That's right. And I grew up in the Hair Nation days, so what am I? What can I tell you? All right, follow the leader. Of course, that's what turned me on to you. Well, actually, Bar uh, Barbara Toady up uh, at the uh, Polar Plunge was the one that handed me your CD, and I started listening to it and just kind of fell in love with Follow the Leader. So, uh, now, is that your first CD? That's my first commercial release on my solo project. And, yeah, huge shout-out to Barbara Toady at Gates County High School for doing that. That's awesome. Thank yeah, you she's much. awesome. I love I love Barbara. I love her husband. Uh, I didn't meet him, but he did such a good job at the Polar Plunge, and I thought they were just really all-around good people. And that's what, it meant. that's what it takes to get your music out there, right? Relationships? Yeah, you develop quality relationships with the people who enjoy your music, and that will put you further than anything else. Okay, so now you just came back from, uh, was it Oregon, Washington State? I forget. We just did a video in Seattle, Washington. It's a one-take video, and the concept behind these one-take sessions that I'm starting to do is that a lot of YouTube covers and videos that I see, are they're, they have this produced quality to them, and you kind of lose the live performance aspect of a production when you do that. So with these one-take sessions, my objective is to film the performance completely in one take, meaning using live audio and having no edits. And that kind of preserves that uniqueness and that artistic taste of that performance for the video. You get a real intimate look at the performance capability of the artist that way. I understand completely. Now, um, I... I I can't, uh, you know, sometimes when you hear a new artist, you can detect a little flavor here and there, maybe where the uh, band, your favorite bands, where they picked up some of their, their love and their, I mean, who, who was your influences in music? Man, it is so hard to, everybody asks you that. It's so oh, and I hear, I thought it was original. Right? Uh, I grew up listening to everything from CCR to Tim McGraw to Stone Temple Pilots to, uh, Arc Enemy. At one point, I was in a metal band. One of the first bands that I was in was a metal band. So I have tastes from all all across the board. You know, there's. I was just telling you earlier. There's like a a song that fits any occasion, if you will. So I try. It's hard to pinpoint my one influence. Um, if I had to take the three major ones for my solo career, I would say I like to model uh, Dave Matthews. I like Dave Matthews. Very good con in concert. Tim McGraw and uh, maybe a Rob Thomas. Tim McGraw, really? Yeah. Indian Outlaw, baby. <laughs> Favorite Tim McGraw song, Indian Outlaw. I gotta find it and play it on the air. A lot of people have not heard of that song. It's, it was kind of obscure, but what do I know? All right, so uh, I enjoy it. Now you're coming up. You just handed me some tickets, and I don't even know what I did with them. It's um, I guess you're going to be performing. It's a night of what? Uh, comedy and music. Yeah, so I do this tour with my buddy Dan Ellison. He's a comedian that goes under the name The Educated Redneck. Uh, it's a laugh year music show, so we start the night off with about 15 minutes of stand-up comedy. We have an opening act come in and do an acoustic set, and we do another 15-minute comedy intermission, and then I finish the night off with about an hour and a half acoustic set. It works really well, and I'm just about to announce all the tour dates for our 2017 spring tour. We're going uh -huh. all the way from here to Seattle. Awesome. I used to live out in Tacoma, Washington when I was in the military. Nice. Big music scene. We're talking about the uh, mid and late 80s. Yeah, yeah, So yeah. that was the time to be in Seattle if you really dug music. It and was I really did. popping back then, too. Oh, my God. I love Seattle. In fact, I would move back there, except for one thing. I just, it, it, it's too cloudy all the time. Ah, that is true. That is true. It's pretty foggy. It, and it's always. That's just the nature of the beast. And uh, I can't. I got to have my sunshine. I can agree. Yeah. So this show is uh, March 17th, and this is going to be, um, where is this? I'm 37th sorry. and Zen. It's about three or four blocks down from the TED at ODU in Norfolk. Okay, is that the name of the place, 37th and Zen? Yes, and Okay. ironically, it's on the corner of 37th Street and Hampton. <laughs> okay, well, that kind of makes it, because people will be driving around looking for, I see 37th, but where's Zen Street? Yeah, right, exactly. Next to Meditational Boulevard. So we did three of these shows last year, and we sold out two or three of them, and then the other one, I believe it was 139 tickets out of 200, so... We're really, really, really anticipating this one to be a good one. And it's the first show of the tour, and it's the only show we have here 
before we hit the road. So very cool. Well, the good news is, folks, he gave me uh, he gave me some tickets to give away to you kind folks. So we'll we'll be giving those away probably uh, on the morning show a couple weeks out before the show, so you guys can go. I'm gonna head up that way, and uh, I gotta find me some friends to take with me, so we'll be good to go. All right, so Brandon, you're gonna play me some music now. Is this something you already had recorded? Is this something new? What do you got for us today? Yeah, I'm gonna play uh, the. This is the song that I originally thought would be the first one on the radio. Uh, coincidentally, the first song on the radio was Follow the Leader, but this song is off of my Future Classic EP, and it's called Everything. Awesome. Brandon Jeffries in just a moment. He's going to play us another song right after these messages. All right, we're back. Tim Flanagan, 98.3 WDLZ. We got Brandon Jeffries. Just played us a song. All right, Brandon, you got a what? You're going to got a video shoot coming up, my friend? Yeah, we actually videoed the, so the video for that song, Everything, last year down in Atlanta. Um, long story short, uh, some technical things happened on the director and producer side of things, and it took eight months to get back to me. 
Woo! Long story, we're reshooting the final takes for that video in Charlotte this weekend. So after I leave here, I'm headed to the airport, going straight to Charlotte, and uh, hopefully by the end of next week or so, we'll have that video out for you as well. Wonderful. Now you're going to play us uh, one more song before you head out. Uh, what song is this? Um, yeah, I'm going to play Shoe Suede Blues. It's the second track off of the Future Classic EP. And uh, I wrote this one when I was on the road in California. I ended up staying out there for five or six months and uh, living pretty penniless. So, yeah, changed my perspective on a lot of things. I'm sure. Kick it up.
guys, Brandon Jeffries, everybody. Thank you so much, Brandon, for coming into the studio today and treating our listeners to a couple live songs. Now, don't forget, folks, you can catch Brandon Jeffries live in Norfolk, Virginia, Friday, March 17th, when he's at doing the Laughter and Music Performance Tour with Dan Ellis and, uh, of course, Brandon Jeffries. I'll be giving away tickets uh, a couple weeks prior to the event, so you'll know exactly where you can go see this young man play. Brandon, thank you for being on the show, my friend. Thank you so much. I want to give one shout out to my website. It's the best spot to find me, yep. www.brandonjeffries.com. Join the newsletter. You get updates to all the shows that we're going to be at and some cool giveaways and some neat prize packages we got. And, uh, of course, all the social media, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, you name it. Yes, you're good at marketing. I know that. That's awesome. That's what it takes. All right, everybody. Brandon Jeffries, again, thank him. I want to thank James Schaefer for being on the air. And we'll be right back after some Billy Joel. Sweet. Good job. It's good to have you. Yeah, thank you so too. much. Thank you, Sam. And I